World Events Productions is an American-based animation and distribution company in St. Louis, Missouri, best known for releasing the anime titles Voltron, Defender of the Universe and Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs, as well as producing the original animated series Denver, The Last Dinosaur. History Founded in 1980 by Ted Coppler, son of St. Louis businessman and KPLR TV founder Harold Coppler, World Events Productions, Ltd. Started out as a current events program on the TV station titled World Events. In 1982, Coppler teamed with Jack Galmich and Frank Babcock to produce three nationally syndicated shows featuring kickboxing. The shows were produced and distributed nationally from St. Louis, Las Vegas, and New York's Madison Square Garden. In 1983, while attending a science fiction convention, Ted Coppler discovered the anime series Beast King Golion and saw a potential in distributing it on U.S. television. WEP licensed the series from TOEI Animation and released it in 1984 in an edited and English dubbed form as Voltron. The show was met with high ratings nationwide. After airing all episodes of Golion, WEP adapted Armored Fleet Deruga 15 into the second season of Voltron. Unfortunately, the second season lacked the ratings of the first season, as viewers were more used to the Golion team. In response, WEP commissioned TOEI Animation to produce 20 more episodes of the Golian based Voltron. In 1987, WEP licensed Star Musketeer Bismarck from Studio Piero and released it as Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs. The series was rewritten with several episodes rearranged or omitted. In addition, six new episodes were animated for the U.S. version. Despite lacking the popularity of Voltron, Saber Rider has received a cult fan following throughout the years, most prominently in Germany. After years of licensing and broadcasting anime, WEP ventured to original animated works. In 1988, the company released Denver, The Last Dinosaur, which was met with positive feedback from parents' groups and was recommended by the National Education Association. Vita, the Starfire Champion was released in 1989. Despite being an international film and video festival and a New York Festival Award winner, the show's run on television was short-lived. In 1998, WEP revisited the Voltron franchise with an all-new TV series. Voltron, The Third Dimension was the 3D animated sequel to the original series, featuring some of the original voice cast plus actors Clancy Brown and Tim Curry. Despite winning a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Sound Editing, the series received mixed responses from critics and fans of the original series. In 2008, World Events licensed the original Golion and Deruga 15 in the U.S. In 2010, WEP licensed rights for the Voltron franchise to Classic Media now DreamWorks Classics. WEP, Kickstart Productions and Classic Media released an all-new animated Voltron series titled Voltron Force in June 2011. The series takes place sometime after events in the original series and used to air on Nicktoons. Topic: Legal issues. World Events Productions settled a legal dispute with TOEI Animation in 2010 over copyright infringements of a potential live-action Voltron movie. In the past, both companies disputed when Voltron: The Third Dimension was released. The previous dispute was settled in 2000, with WEP acquiring the animated properties Voltron and Golion, as well as Vehicle Force Voltron and Deruga. The most recent legal issues between the two companies focus on WEP's right to adapt the anime into live action and possibly marketing it in Japan. 
As a result of this dispute, 20th Century Fox and New Regency Productions pulled out of the live action project. On July 2009, Atlas Entertainment acquired the live action film rights. This prompted film producers James Young, Ford Ehrlman and Mark Costa to file a lawsuit against World Events Productions, claiming that their companies, Animus Films and NHO Entertainment, have held exclusive live-action rights to Voltron since 2004. The live-action project was eventually scrapped on June 2010 in favor of a new Voltron television series. On November 4, 2016, three months after the completion of NBC Universal's acquisition of Classic Media's parent company, DreamWorks Animation, for $3.8 billion, it was announced that Universal Pictures and DreamWorks Animation will make the film with David Hayter writing the script. Topic: <laughs> Titles. <laughs> Voltron (1984–1985), adaptation of Toei Animation's Beast King Golion and Armored Fleet Deruga 15. Voltron: Fleet of Doom (1986), one-off crossover of both Voltron seasons co-produced by Toei Animation. Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs (1987–1988). Adaptation of Studio Piero's Star Musketeer Bismarck Denver, The Last Dinosaur 1988. WEP's first all-original work. Vita, The Starfire Champion 1989. Widget The World Watcher 1990-1991 co-production Mr. Bogus 1991-1993 Bubsy Pilot 1993 Twinkle the Dream Being 1993 to 1998 Voltron the Third Dimension 1998 to 2000 3D animated sequel to Voltron co-produced by Mike Young Productions Voltron Force 2011-2012 co-produced by Kickstart Productions and Dreamworks Classics Voltron Legendary Defender 2016 to 2018 Co-produced by Dreamworks Animation Television Topic <laughs> Live Action Films Voltron Live Action Film a live-action film, based on the series produced through DreamWorks Animation, will be released through Universal Pictures. <laughs>